should be Swedish when such a thing as a condom breaking is classified as rape. Rape, and it seems like these people can't really see the bigger picture in this. Yeah. And you know, they say Carl Rove was here engineering that, and that the girls were texting each other about, oh, we can make so much money. Yeah. 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 Because the strangest part, part is, <laughs> yeah. the strangest part about all this is, they claim to be raped, and the day after, they, they, they organize a party for Julian Assange. Oh, like yeah. A huge party yeah. for him. And they sit there twittering, oh, it's so amazing, I can sit out here in the cold with all these cool, intelligent people. And the day after, she introduces Damn. Assange to another woman, going like, oh, you should meet this woman, yeah. which is woman number two in this rape accusation yeah. soup thingy. Yeah. And why, why would so, you do that? So you've just been raped. And, and how can you also like be very strong for women, for women's protection, but also for men's protection? Because at this point, if I were a man, I would never want to have sex again with anyone. I've heard so many males <laughs> say that. It's so, it's so no. weird. I'd, I'd still... I'd still... <laughs> <laughs> I'd still you know, this is a weird confession, but on my blog I basically wrote about how I slept with my boyfriend when he was asleep. And therefore, under this kind of law, it makes me a rapist. And so, in a sense, it's like if you could have multiple perspectives where women and men are equal, but men are also respected. I think, I think the biggest issue here is we have in Sweden a huge, a huge gap between what is rape and what is not rape. They, like, for example, if you kill somebody, it it can be manslaughter, it can be it can be murder, it can be first degree murder, second degree murder, you know what I mean? Like there's different yeah. levels on it. But if you rape someone, it's either full on hardcore rape or it's nothing. Yeah. There's nothing like uh, um how to say it like In between? Yeah, like like a sexual offending but more serious, if yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah. Because like if a, if a condom breaks, it's not rape. Right. It just isn't. Well, and what I heard was that the condom broke and then they later wanted him to have STD testing. And that that somehow got conflated into that. Oh, it's just, it makes me tired. Yeah, me too. <laughs>